Hey guys, let's welcome winters with this hot and spicy veg soup which is a complete meal all by itself. So let's begin. So for this here I pre-boiled half a packet of noodles with some salt for about 5 minutes. Make sure you don't overcook them. I'll break one and show you it still has some bite and resistance. At this stage, I'm going to sprinkle a tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch over it. Toss them really well to coat each noodle evenly with the flour. And then shake shake and just sieve off the excess. Next here I've heated oil on highest flame. We'll deep fry these in batches. For about 2 to 3 minutes or until they turn super crispy with good golden brown color on top. If you want, you can skip the frying part and simply bake these also in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes, flipping in between. Or if you want, you can also purchase store-bought fried noodles. These are very much easily available in an Indian market. They are used for Chinese bake. So it's done enough. I'm going to remove it out. Let it cool completely and then let's break it into pieces. Likewise, fry the other batch as well. Next, heat a tablespoon of oil over highest flame in a wok. Add in a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic, a tablespoon of finely chopped ginger, some finely chopped green chilies, depending on how much spicy you want your soup to be. Toss it for a minute. And then goes in some chopped spring onion greens. Again toss it just for about 30 seconds. We do not want to cook it fully. You can also use the regular onions here. And if you want, you can use both. Next, we'll add in all the finely chopped vegetables. So in goes 1 fourth cup of capsicum. Here I'm using different colored capsicum. You can use only green also. 5 to 6 beans finely chopped. Half carrot half a cup of cabbage along with four to five mushrooms cut this way and a few fresh coriander stems this will give great flavor to the soup saute everything on high flame for about two minutes you can choose to use any vegetable layer of your choice or whichever you have handy and if you want, you can also use some small pieces of boneless chicken if you are a non-vegetarian, some baby corns or even sweet corns. Now do not overcook these else they will lose their bite and crunch. Time to add some salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder and toss again. Next I'm adding a tablespoon of soy sauce. 2 teaspoons of red chilli sauce. If you want, you can also use the green chilli sauce as well. 2 teaspoons of vinegar. Mix, mix. Just for about 2 to 3 minutes. And then I'm adding about 3 to 4 cups of water. You can also use vegetable stock here. Mix it really well and let it come to a good boil. Once it comes to a boil, let it cook further over medium-high flame for about few more minutes. Meanwhile, we'll quickly prepare the corn flour slurry, for which I'm adding a tablespoon of corn flour. Mix it with 1 fourth cup of water. Whisk it really well. And now add this corn flour slurry into the soup gradually and keep mixing it all the while so that no lumps are formed. Keep doing this and after adding the slurry, let it cook over medium flame for another 4-5 to five minutes, stirring occasionally or until you feel the soup has thickened enough as per the consistency you want. You can taste the soup here for salt and seasoning and adjust accordingly. It looks good to me with perfect consistency. Add in some spring onion greens or fresh coriander if you wish to. Superb, it looks so glossy as well. Turn off the flame and here you go guys. Your homemade, very comforting veg manchow soup is ready. 
serve it while it is still hot and to be honest i'm a huge fan of this soup especially on the days when i feel super tired of making any other meals i just throw in all the veggies in the wok whatever i have in the fridge and make this super simple soup do enjoy this soup with some fried noodles and some spring onion greens on top this soup is full of fiber and quite soothing especially on the days you have cold so guys if you enjoyed even a bit of this recipe then like is much appreciated and in case you plan to recreate the same all my socials are listed below i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye